In this video, I'll introduce you to a free AI note-taking tool called Fathom AI, which will help you to maximize your productivity. To get started, simply sign up for a new account at fathom.video. I'll sign in with my Google account, grant access to my calendar, and complete a short setup survey. Next, I'll enable auto recording for all my scheduled meetings while keeping recaps private, as I use this tool for personal productivity. It offers a free version for individual users, making it an excellent option for personal use. If you're part of a team or need advanced features for your business, there's also a paid plan available at $20 per month. But for now, let's dive into how you can make the most of the free version. After finishing the signup process, I will click continue and download the Fathom app to my computer. Once the download is complete, simply install it into your machine. That's it. The installation is done, and you'll notice the Fathom icon appear on your screen, confirming that it's running. Next, I'll install the Chrome extension. I'll click to add it to Chrome, select Add Extension, and once it's installed, the icon will appear in my browser. After signing in and granting access, the extension is fully activated. The entire setup takes less than a minute. Now, let's see how to use Fathom in a Google Meet call. I'll start by creating a new Google Meet session. If I want Fathom to record my meeting, I simply click New Meeting and select Start an Instant Meeting. Once the meeting begins, I'll see a Fathom note taker icon at the bottom left. Clicking on it prompts Fathom to join the meeting. After granting access, the note taker officially joins and begins recording. At this point, it will display a message saying it's waiting for attendees before starting the recording. Since I'm the only participant right now, it won't begin taking notes yet. However, as soon as another person joins, Fathom will start recording and generating notes automatically. Now, let's take a look at how this recording appears within the Fathom app. To review your recorded meetings, simply open the menu and click on Recordings. Here, you'll see a list of your past meetings. For example, I have previous test calls, but as you continue using Fathom, your new recordings will appear here automatically. If you want to analyze a specific call, just select it from the list, and you'll be able to review the transcript, key moments, and insights generated by Fathom. Let's take a look at a Fathom demo recording. When you open a recorded meeting, you'll see the transcript displayed beneath the video. You can start and pause the playback, or click on specific sections to jump to key moments. If you switch to the Chronological Summary tab, Fathom will generate a quick summary of the meeting. This process takes just a few seconds, and then you'll see a breakdown of everything that was covered. To share parts of the meeting with colleagues or friends, simply click Share and send them the link. One of my favorite features is the ability to share specific sections. If you only want to highlight the post-call workflow and features, you can select that section, and the link will take the recipient straight to that part of the video. Fathom also lets you mark important moments in a meeting, such as insights, positive feedback, or objections. These are automatically tagged in the call. For example, if someone mentioned confidential, I can click on that section and share just that snippet. Typically, Fathom shares around 30 seconds of the relevant section, making it easy to highlight key points without sharing the entire meeting. Now, let me share a few tips on how I personally use Fathom. One of my primary uses for Fathom is interviewing job candidates. I can select a specific candidate's recording and instantly review key action items. I can see the questions I asked, the responses they provided, and even click on Candidate Interview to generate structured summary notes. What's great is that Fathom doesn't just provide a generic summary. It organizes the information in a clear format tailored to interviews. It highlights details such as the candidate's background, relevant accomplishments, experience with specific tools, and more. I can then integrate this directly into my interview CRM to keep track of my notes for each applicant. Another feature I love is the ability to generate a follow-up email based on the discussion. After selecting the relevant action items, I can simply click Copy Follow-up Email, and Fathom will generate a response tailored to the conversation. This makes it incredibly easy to stay on top of candidate communication without having to manually draft each email. Beyond its core features, Fathom offers some great settings that enhance its functionality. I can enable it to record meetings on Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. Plus, it integrates with Zapier, 
allowing me to connect it with tools like Slack and Microsoft Teams for automated notifications. While I don't have those connected yet, I can see how useful they could be. Another setting I like is the ability to customize the bot name when it joins a meeting. I usually rename it to My Assistant for a more personalized touch. Additionally, I can modify or disable the notification banner, though it's important to always inform participants that the meeting is being recorded to comply with privacy rules. Fathom also lets me auto-generate action items, which can be turned on or off as needed. There are options to integrate it with Slack, Salesforce, and other platforms, as well as settings for recording consent, such as automatically requesting permission when participants join a call. A common question I get about Fathom is whether it can be trusted. Personally, I do trust them, and based on my experience, it has been a reliable and secure tool. To determine whether Fathom aligns with your privacy concerns, I recommend reviewing their privacy policy and making an informed decision. It's also a good idea to check with your company's policies to ensure you're allowed to use a tool like this. An important thing to note is that Fathom does not use customer data to train AI models, nor do they allow OpenAI or Anthropic to do so. All data is encrypted end-to-end -end and stored in the United States. Moreover, you can request a Mutual Non-Disclosure Agreement, NDA, using a form they provide. Also, they have cybersecurity insurance for added protection. If needed, you can request that your data be deleted at any time. These measures make Fathom a strong option for privacy-conscious users, but always do your own due diligence. The last thing I want to mention is Fathom's Teams Edition, which is a paid plan. As you can see, it costs $20 per user per month or $30 per user per month if you want additional features like CRM integration, SOC2 reports, advanced access controls, and Zapier integration. In my opinion, the standard free version is already excellent for most users. However, if you need seamless CRM syncing and automation with Zapier, the Pro plan might be worth considering. At $30 per month, it can save you hours of manual work making it a solid investment for businesses. That said, I personally find the free edition incredibly useful. With AI-powered transcripts, note-taking, and summaries, it covers all my needs without requiring a paid upgrade. I also wanted to highlight a few more ways you can use the transcripts. For instance, you can copy the entire transcript and use it however you like. You could add it to your Google Notes for easy searching or even integrate it with Notion to keep everything organized. By the way, I've got more videos coming soon on the latest developments in the AI sphere, so make sure to subscribe so you get notified when it drops. I'll see you in the next one.